since I do a lot of Arduino projects, I, f I felt that I needed to have a few lying around. So when I do a project that I don't want to rip apart and that I want to keep on having and running, uh, I wanted to buy some extra Arduinos. And I thought I would buy a couple of those uh, cheap ones on eBay that you can find uh, where if you read really carefully in the strange uh, Chinese translated to English uh, you will see that they write that the 80 Mega 16U2 has been replaced with a CH340 that's if you want to buy the really cheap one so this is three and a half dollars for this one and uh, you also see that the 80 Mega uh, 328 is a uh, mounted uh, a surf surface mounted uh, IC instead of the uh, of the normal one where you have a uh, a dip or deal uh, socket. Th that one. So I actually bought one of those as well. Um, let me open that as well. So this is uh, this one is a bit more expensive, but uh, these are once again th these uh, programmers or these are good as programmers if you want to uh, remove the chip and add that to a, a another project in itself. Uh, but these I bought really cheap just to, so I wouldn't have to change chips and make a whole circuit. So I could just put this one somewhere where I want to use it. But that they have exchanged that CH340 which seems that it's uh, not a big deal. Uh, I don't know if this is a big deal in uh, Arduino IDE 1.6 because I don't use that. I use Ardu uh, the IDE 1.0.5 R2. I really like that and I haven't had a project where I actually need the new functionality of 1.6 yet. But uh, I've heard a lot of uh, people that have said that uh, w the the cheap ones you buy on eBay uh, they don't work you really have to make sure that they work so I thought okay I really need to check this and uh, so I uh, plugged it in and of course it was an unrecognizable unit uh, and I bought two so both of them was that uh, a quick search on the internet of course I and of course it's I don't have the driver for the CH340 so the reason it, uh, if you buy those cheap ones and you get a, an error that uh, it, it, it's not a recognizable unit and it can't install it then it is that chipset that is the error so we need to find a driver for that and then this one should work when it comes to this one, the one with the deal socket, we still have the 80 mega 30, uh, 16U2 on this one. So, but <laughs> but the soldering work is beyond par. So they they are crooked and stuff there I saw on this one this one isn't really down all the way to the PCB so you get what you pay for of course that's I, I was aware of this but I, I just wanted to see how bad they were so let's go and see if we can find the uh, um, driver So I bought mine from Alice 1101983, which I've bought a lot of from in the past. Uh, I've never had a problem with that seller. They some sellers are better than others, and once you find one that you really like, or or you have good service with, um, then you tend to keep that one if you find that they have the product that you're looking for at a reasonable price. 
So anyway, this is the product I bought, uh, 350 and 80 mega 328 PCH340. And if we scroll down here on the page, change the inline package of 80 meg. Oh no, sorry, not CH340G. Replace 80 mega 16U2. So that's what they say. So let's search for that CH340 drivers. So let's, uh, I'll just plug this in. So it's searching for the driver now, just so you know that this will not work. Uh, while it does that, let's see what this is. First result usually is the right one. So let's one download the driver. So we have our unknown unit there. Let's see if our zip file is done. My computer has a lot to do right now. Ah. So Here's the program that we downloaded. I'm not a big fan of opening files that I'm not sure of the whereabouts of. There. So now we know. There we can't. We couldn't find any drivers. That's what it says in Swedish. So we move this or copy this to the desktop because I want before I run it I just want to make sure that it's virus free somewhat so nothing so let's run that So let's install that one then. Now it seems to have moved and it moved down here to COM ports USB serial CH340. So now we have found it. Um, so now we should actually in the Arduino here we should see the serial ports we don't yet maybe they are still working on it driver install failure oh my took that long and it failed well they think it failed I believe it didn't let's uh, let's load some example with digital read serial push button to oh I chose the wrong board it's an uno so read and tra tra uh, transmit and receive seem to work there Okay, so one, and then we connect it to ground, it should be zero, and now it's jumping all over the place, and one. Good. So, with that, uh, by installing this file, 
we actually get these really cheap ones up and running. So that was uh, easy enough, I hope you think. Uh, so if you decide to buy these cheap ones on eBay or Amazon or whatever place, there are lots of them, uh, this is the first thing you need to fix to get them to work. This does not mean that they will work any, all the time, they, there might still be other problems with them. And as I said, the build quality is as it is. But if you want really cheap ones just to spread around the house, this could be a good alternative. Um, so that's it for today. Take care. Bye.